Somebody's gonna pay for this, I'm telling you that right now. Somebody's gonna pay for it. You guys said do nothing to protect them. The father of 13-year-old Gary Ross, angry and heartbroken. Never did nothing about it, and now my son's dead. Ron Ross surrounded by family, friends, and community members as they confront leaders at Monroe Public Schools and the pouring rain. It comes after Gary died by suicide. Now I got to bury my son, my 13-year-old son, because they wouldn't do nothing about the bullying. The family says the bullying came in a number of ways, even via text message. Because it was a text message that was right before he killed himself Monday. It was text message that he better not bring himself to school Monday or that he was going to beat the crap out of him. Supporters of the Ross family also claiming allegations of bullying. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of every child hurting and having to go through this, not just my own. My heart is breaking for Gary's family. School officials, including the superintendent, met the group outside, reacting to the bullying claims. No, we didn't believe it was that big. The superintendent promising to do more. So we need our kids' help to understand <laughs> how they wanted to be able to communicate to us when a bullying situation is happening, and, uh, and so that we can uh, then step in and assist them. School leaders also offering a plan of action. So beginning next week, uh, we will be meeting with our kids and staff to really figure out what those next steps might be. As for the students who allegedly bullied Gary. So we're still waiting for the police uh, for, to do, continue their investigation. Um, and as they go through and do their work, uh, we're, we'll step alongside of them. But Gary's father is not convinced anything will change. Ain't nothing gonna change. You know, listening to our parents talk, yeah, it's been helpful uh, hearing them. Uh, my big part for them was that we all are in this together. And Monroe, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.